Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today, I'm going to talk about suspense payments in billing process. First, let's see what do you mean by suspense payments. Typically, sometimes customers send a payment. In this example, if you see, they have sent a payment of $1,000. And when it comes to billing system, Sometimes the billing system may not have received the policy information from the policy administration system. So in this case, billing system will not know to which invoice we need to apply this payment of $1,000. So it has a placeholder called suspense payment. It will keep that incoming payment of $1,000 in suspense until it knows which invoice to apply. When I say which invoice to apply, the moment billing system gets the policy administration information, it will apply that suspense payment to the correct invoice. Typically, suspense payment is a kind of you no know, temporary bucket where we store those incoming payments details until the billing system has a clear cut idea on how to apply these incoming payments to the correct invoice. It's not just one example where billing system is not or haven't received the policy information from policy administration system. Sometimes the incoming payments may say apply to the policy number ABC, whereas the actual policy number could have been ABD, a clerical mistake, right? So in those scenarios, initially it will be in suspense payment, right? And then somebody has to validate a billing clerk to see what is the, why the discrepancy happened. Once they know that, oh, the incoming payment had a policy number of ABC, whereas the actual policy number should have been ABD, they correct that policy number and then apply that suspense payment to the correct policy number. So the thing that you need to be keeping in mind is suspense payment is basically a payment where there's an associated account. In this case, ABC insured is the customer or an associated broker but there is no associated payments in the billing system. In those scenarios, you have placed those payments in the suspense bucket. Now, there are various options, right? Once the money is in suspense, either you can apply once you know the policy number or once you correct the actual policy number, or sometimes even after three weeks or four weeks, the correct policy number will not be available in billing system for some reason or there could be still some kind of discrepancies. So in those scenarios, you can even disperse this payment. Like in this case, if the $1,000 is sitting in suspense for three weeks or four weeks, you can disperse this back to the broker. So one, either you can apply or if for a particular reason, if you cannot apply it for a certain number of days, you can disperse it. The third thing is sometimes you have a suspense payment, you apply that either manually or by a batch, which is an automatic process. And you know that this payment that is sitting in suspense is not the correct amount. Maybe a customer calls you and says that it should have not been 1000, it should have been 2000. So in those cases, you should be able to reverse that payment which you applied and then apply the new payment amount of $2,000. So either you can apply the payment or disperse the payment or you can reverse the existing payment and apply new payment. So the core thing to remember is suspense payment is a temporary bucket which is used to store the incoming payment until the correct policy number or the correct invoice is identified. I hope you like my training videos. If you like my training videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.